uh, that's, I mean, as players, you know, we support our coach. I'm a lot of the blame, you know, and glory goes to the, the head coach. Um, but, you know, there's some things that we account for. You know, as players, we, we're always not playing well. You know, coaches, their job is to put us in the right position, um, you know, to make plays, grant us the opportunity. And that's really it. You know, so we can't really control if if he's here, he's not here, if, you know, we just get out of each day, you know, play and, and get better. Um, if it was up to me, you know, I wouldn't want my coach here. I think that um, Rex is a good coach. Um, you know, I think he, he's the guy for the job. So, I mean, that's that's my opinion on it. But, you know, that's above my pay grade. So I don't, myself and other players, we can't control that. I mean, so to us, it's just rumors. Oh, I could just talk for myself. I mean, I, I don't really get into what the media says or, or what the rumors are. That's something I never got into, you know, so I, I'm just speaking on experience. I mean, I, I've never paid it too much attention. Um, I think our, our attention to detail and our preparation each and every week um, has been good. Um, just we haven't came out on the winning side of things. Uh, so as far as us stepping it up another lot, another notch, if anything, it's for uh, it's for the guys. Like I said, the guys that we that we sacrificed so hard for in the locker room, and as well as the coach that is rumored um, on the hot seat. But I don't know if it's one week or another. Um, we we're just fired up because we have an opportunity to finish out on a three-game win streak. No, um, we don't necessarily have conversations about that. It's kind of just understood. Um, like I said, you never want to hear those news. Um, Rex is a great coach. Um, it's just. Unfortunately, that we haven't been able to win some of those games that uh, that we think we should have. So um, but it's not a conversation that's came up in the locker room. No. Um, it's something that I don't really focus on. I mean, I've been around this league long enough uh, to go through coach changes before. Um, and at the end of the day, you still have to approach your job the same way. Uh, but when you start worrying about that and then not worrying about the game plan and what, what we have in front of us in the Cleveland Browns, uh, go out there and lose another game. Um, I got my coaches back regardless if his job was in jeopardy or not. I'm going to go out there and play the same way. Uh, play hard, play physical, um, and you know him. His being on the hot seat really doesn't impact that. I mean, obviously you want to go out there and win the game a little bit more, but at the end of the day, I'm I'm, I'm not going to turn it up a notch. I mean, if you have guys doing that, then that, that's the real issue right there. It's it's like that all over the league. It's about coaches. It's about players. It's week to week. It's every single week. And if you start, I mean, if you're a coach or if you're a player and you start focusing on that stuff, you're doing yourself and you're doing your teammates a disservice. I really believe that. I mean, that's not just talk. I mean, if you if you start worrying about everything that's out there, you know, rather than worrying about what's in here and what you have to do, I mean, you've got no shot to be a good player yourself individually or a good team. Oh, you really can't worry about that. We just got to worry about the next game. We got Cleveland Browns coming here, so we got to worry about beating them. Is that speculation as opposed to real? Uh, no. I mean, we, we just got to be really focused on our task at hand, which is the uh, Cleveland Browns. Everything else is not really – up to us, we can't do anything about it. We just go out there and just play football. I know it's not. Man, um, I mean, it's a tough situation kind of to talk about, you know, because obviously, um, you know, you know this is a business and changes happen. Um, but at the end of the day, man, he's our coach. You know, we're going to fight for him, play for him, and, and do everything necessary, you know, uh, to come out on top of with, you know, in these next three weeks with some wins. And um, at the end of the day, you got to let the chips fall where they may. Um, I like playing for Rex Person. I like playing for this organization, um, the guys upstairs. Uh, Everything that we do, man, um, a lot of guys take away from the fact that, you know, we were in a lot of we were in a lot of big games this year, and, and we were leading in a lot of those those games this year. So, um, the, the 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 foundation for everything is there, and if we can just trust the process, we'll we'll come out on the right.